In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable and disable Windows Protected Print Mode. Now, Windows Protected Print Mode is a functionality available in the operating system that increases the security of printers. The Windows Print System has historically been a frequent target for attacks, and print bugs accounted for 9% of all cases reported to the Microsoft Security Response Center over the last three years. The spoiler service, which handles printer management, data conversion, and many other tasks, is the core of the Windows Print System. This process runs using the system local account, which is one of the highest privilege levels in Windows, which is why it's such an attractive target to attackers. The spoiler is also widely accessible to standard users and loads third-party code on demand, which is why it's a bit of a security risk. So when Windows Protected Print Mode is enabled, printers that use third-party drivers are uninstalled. When it's enabled, the print driver is deleted from the print driver store, and it can't be used whilst Windows Protected Print Mode is active. The idea of the mode is that by hardening the print system, you reduce the vulnerability of computers with printers installed. When Windows Protected Print Mode is disabled, and then you reconnect to the printer, and you want to use the original driver, you'll need to reinstall the original driver as it has been removed from the driver store. If the printer was originally installed with the modern print stack, which usually means you didn't have to provide a separate driver, enabling Windows Protected Print Mode won't uninstall the printer or affect it. Now, Windows Protected Print Mode can be enabled and disabled at the operating system level. Computers that are managed through a group policy or Intune may have policies configured to override the local settings. So you might be dealing with this being enabled at the group policy or Intune level. Now, when it's enabled, XPS and fax are removed. If you want access to XPS and fax, you'll need to disable Windows Protected Print Mode and then reinstall these features. Instructions on how to do all of that is in a document that I've linked to in this video's descriptions. Some scanners are also disabled when you enable Windows Protected Print Mode and can only be used if this mode is disabled. So to enable it, you perform the following steps. 